The Ling Temco VAT XC-142 was a tri-service tiltwing experimental aircraft designed to investigate the operational suitability of vertical, short takeoff and landing transports. An XC-142A first flew conventionally on 29 September 1964, and on the 11th of January 1965, it completed its first transitional flight by taking off vertically, changing to forward flight and finally landing vertically. In 1959 the United States Army, Navy and Air Force began work on the development of a prototype V, stole aircraft that could augment helicopters in transport-type missions. Specifically they were interested in designs with longer range and higher speeds than existing helicopters, in order to support operations over longer distances, or in the case of the United States Marine Corps, from further offshore. On 27 January 1961, a series of DoD actions resulted in an agreement where all of the military services would work on the Tri-Service Assault Transport Program under the Navy's Bureau of Naval Weapons Leadership. For the Marine Corps mission, the requirement stated that the fuel load could be reduced so that the maximum gross weight would not exceed 35,000 pounds, as long as a 100 nautical mile radius was maintained. Vought responded with a proposal combining engineering from their own design arm, as well as Ryan and Hiller, who had more extensive helicopter experience. Their proposal won the design contest, and a contract for five prototypes was signed in early 1962 with first flight specified for July 1964. The design was initially known as the Vought Ryan Hiller XC-142, but when Vought became part of the LTV conglomerate this naming was dropped. During the prototype development the Navy decided to exit the program. The C-142 was predicted to have an even higher loading of 10 PSI, which they believed would limit it to operations to and from prepared landing pads and was therefore unsuitable for assault operations. The first prototype made its first conventional flight on 29 September 1964, first hover on 29 December 1964, and first transition on of January 1965. The first XC-142A was delivered to the Air Force test team in July 1965. During the XC-142A program, a total of 420 hours were flown in 488 flights. Tests included carrier operations, simulated rescues, paratroop drops, and low-level cargo extraction. During testing the aircraft's cross-link drive shaft proved to be its Achilles heel. The shaft resulted in excessive vibration and noise, resulting in a high pilot workload. Additionally, it proved susceptible to problems due to wing flexing. Shaft problems, along with operator errors, resulted in a number of hard landings causing damage. One crash occurred as a result of a failure of the drive shaft to the tail rotor, causing three fatalities. One of the limitations found in the aircraft was an instability between wing angles of 35 and 80 degrees, encountered at extremely low altitudes. The new 2FF propellers also proved to generate less thrust than predicted. The basic design was fairly typical for a cargo aircraft, consisting of a large boxy fuselage with a tilted rear area featuring a loading ramp. The fuselage housed a 30 feet long, 7.5 feet wide 7 feet high cargo area with a somewhat boxy cockpit on the front for the crew of two pilots and a loadmaster. For V, stole operations, the aircraft converted by tilting its wing to the vertical. Roll control during hover was provided by differential clutching of the propellers, while yaw used the ailerons, which were in the airflow. For pitch control the aircraft featured a separate tail rotor, oriented horizontally to lift the tail, as opposed to the more conventional anti-torque rotors on helicopters that are mounted vertically. When on the ground, the tail rotor folded against the tail to avoid being damaged during loading. The C-142 was powered by four General Electric T-64 turboshaft engines cross-linked on a common drive shaft, which eliminated engine-out asymmetric thrust problems during V, stole operations, to drive four 15.5-foot Hamilton standard fiberglass propellers. Compared to conventional designs it was overpowered, it had 0.27 horsepower per pound, compared to 0.12 horsepower per pound for the contemporary Lockheed C-130D Hercules. This extra power was required for safe VTOL operations, and gave the aircraft excellent all-around performance which included a maximum speed of over 400 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest VTOL transport aircraft of the era. The aircraft never proceeded beyond the prototype stage. In 1966, while tests were still underway, the Air Force requested a proposal for a production version, the C-142B. Since the Navy had backed out by this time, the Navy carrier compatibility requirement could be eliminated, which dramatically reduced the empty weight. XC-142A testing ended, and the remaining flying copy was turned over to NASA for research testing.